Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Wired for Crappie. Uh, we're on the lake today. I had several um, comments last week. Guys wanted to know what electronics I'm using, how they're set up, how I go about looking at brush. When I see brush on, say, side imaging, how do I know or how do I depict if there's fish in it or if I just need to move on? Um, so we're going to go through that today. I'll show you everything that I do and I'll show you my setup. And again, it's what works for me. Everybody is going to have something that works different for them. Um, there's the lifelong debate. Lawrence, Humminbird, and now Garmin, of course, has come on the scene. Um, so we're going to talk about that as well. Um, I'm a believer that um, one of the two, as far as Lawrence or, or Humminbird or Garmin, one of the three, I should say, is going to fit your eye better. Um, I've had all three personally, and I have been more successful with Lawrence units. Um, that doesn't say that they're any better or worse. I'll never knock anybody's products, but um, for my eye, the Lawrence units fit my eye better. So uh, stick with us. Let's go out here and uh, take a look at the units and, and the settings, and then let's go find some brush. Okay, so here we are. Here's my units. I'm running two Lawrence HDS 8s. My top unit runs, these are Gen 1s, my top unit runs my maps and my down imaging. And my bottom unit runs only my side imaging. Like I said, they're both HDS 8 Gen 1s. <coughs> As far as my settings, I run my contrast at 69. Generally, I run my range anywhere from, as you see right here, 50 to 60. I will go 60 sometimes if I'm in a little deeper water looking for structure. Uh, but 50 to 60 is what I generally run. Uh, my frequency, I always have on 455. I do know some guys that run 800, but for our lakes, uh, 455, for the depths that I like to fish in, 455 is, is really good, so that's what I typically run. Uh, as far as my view, you can run left and right. You can run left only or right only. Uh, I will look at, you know, say left only if I am looking under docks or if I know there's a piece of structure off of a, a bluff or... A bank I'll, I'll put it on the side of the boat that the structure is going to be on so that you can utilize the full screen you can see it a little better but typically when I'm looking for brush I'm in left and right so let's talk about what we're seeing right here on the screen right now so obviously we're sitting still currently so that's why you get the blurred view on both sides of the boat right because we're side imaging and down imaging work best when you are moving you have to be moving forward. You have to have forward propulsion to get a good clear picture and we'll show you that here in just a little bit. So this center gold line here is the transducer. This is the boat. This is where our boat is. We're heading north. So this is what is coming under the boat currently right here at the top of the screen and it's rolling down. Okay. From this gold line to where the gold starts here, this black area is underneath the boat just to the left side out to about 10 feet okay that's how we're in 13 foot of water right now so you've got under the boat just on the left and you've got under the boat here in this black side just on the right so again if you understand sonar you have a cone that comes down okay and that cone is this black area right here all right so this black area right here is underneath the boat all right and then you've got from the bottom over 50 feet to the left and you've got the bottom starts there at the gold comes over this way 50 feet to the right okay <clears throat> let's see here let's talk about surface clarity I run my surface clarity off most of the time just because I like to see what's underneath the surface. Um, you know, if there's a lot of trash or anything in the water, I will actually um, turn that to low or to medium 
um, depending on how much trash is in the water. But for the most part, I'm running that off most of the time. My noise rejection, I do have that on. That'll take a lot of the uh, silt and things out of the water um, so that you get a clearer picture. So I do leave that on. And then pallets. I prefer this grayish gold, but it just depends on what fits your eye, okay? So if, you know, if you like the, the hummingbird yellow or orange, there's your hummingbird orange. Um, you've got uh, the blue, a lot of guys like the blue. There's your blue. It just depends on what fits your eye best, what you feel you can see. There's no right or wrong answer for color palette. So it just depends on what fits your eye best, guys. And that's part of the reason that I'm still running HDS 8 Gen 1s is because I like this gold grayish color pattern. Um, some of the newer units don't have this color pattern. Um, so I'm still running these and then actually I feel I can see better on these than some of the newer units, the carbons and things. So um, that's how I set my units up. That's how uh, I like them. That's how they work best for me. And, you know, I hope that helps you guys. Uh, these HDS 8 Gen 1s, they do not sell. Um, Lawrence does not sell these brand new anymore. If, you, if you're looking for HDS Gen 1s, you, you have to get those off the used market. But there's still a lot of good units out there. So, um, hope that helps, guys. Uh, I am running an LSS 2 transducer. Um, on these units. I'm doing that because the LSS-2 is a little larger than the LSS-1 transducer. Um, it's got a few more crystals in it and you uh, get a better better picture with more crystals in the transducer. So um, That's how I'm running them guys. I hope that helps and uh, let's go see if we can't take these things out and, and go uh, find some brush piles and find some crappie. Alright guys so actually here's some crappie right here suspended i'll try to hold y'all as still as i can here on this screen i know there's probably some vibration in it uh, we're in a boat keep that in mind let's see here so there's some timber you got some timber right here that's a bait ball got rocks out here to the side there's some more crappie right there there's some crappie right here there's some timber here's some more timber right here okay there's timber out to the sides you can see these shadows right here okay here's rocks timber those shadows there 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 all those shadows are timber okay a lot of fish right there there's more bait there's bait, there's bait. A lot of timber right in here. There's more timber right in here. <clears throat> As you can see, we're in about 16 feet of water right now. Reason being is it is summer. It's the 28th of uh, July 27th of July one of the two hey when you're fishing it don't matter right Let's see if we can't ease along here We've gotten out of some of that stuff as you can see right here see how dark the bottom is that's actually a, a soft bottom right here and then it gets it gets real bright gold right in here that's actually hard bottom so the brighter the bottom the harder the bottom okay the brighter your color the harder the return the harder the bottom I'm hoping that we can find you a brush pile or a tree or something that timber was a great representation of what to look for but I'm hoping we can find us a brush pile There's a brush pile. That's a nice tree. That's got fish in it. Let's slow this down a little bit here. All right, let's zoom in right here. 
cut this off. All right, so there's a brush pile that we've located. Let's go right here and zoom in for you guys. Okay, you see all these bright dots? See that bright dot right there on that cursor? Right there, on that, right there. All these up here, these bright dots. Right there in the corner of the cursor. Right there, right there. Those are all fish, guys. Those are fish on that tree, okay? So you can see all those little individual bright dots in that tree are fish. That's what you're looking for when you're looking for brush piles or trees that have fish in them. All right, I hope that helps. Let's go see if we can't catch a few of those. All right, so we've located a tree. We've seen the fish on our side imaging. We marked it, okay? And by marked it, we threw a buoy. I did throw a buoy out on it, all right? Just my camera here. Threw a buoy out on it. So now we're going to fish it, all right? So we're gonna use the bonehead stump bug today. All right, and I also got questions last week about how I rig my stump bug to make sure that that body sits straight. All right, so what I do, I use a number two hook, all right, on, a, on my jig head, chartreuse jig head. Everybody knows, again, I like chartreuse. And I actually come out, let's see if you can, if you guys can see that. A little blurry I think but uh, let's see I actually come out right about the butt of that center paddle with that number two hook and that generally keeps that bait pretty straight on the hook okay now let's go see if we can catch a fish off this pile off this tree that we just found That's a good fish. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. There's a decent Is, guys a baby it's a baby but it's a crappie off the tree that we just found you guys found it with me it's a baby <sighs> it's that simple guys it's that simple with technology today guys I mean crappie fishing is so much fun 
it is so much fun. It doesn't matter if you spider rig, long line troll, pull crank baits, cast brush, vertical jig, slip float in a minna. It doesn't matter. Drop shot in minnas. It doesn't matter what you do, guys. Uh, we're all crappie fishermen. We're all crappie anglers. We all love the sport, and it's just so, so gratifying to come out here and just be outdoors, be out in God's creation, and just catch fish. So I hope you guys uh, learned something. I hope that helped. Um, if I need to go more in depth about one aspect of it or another, I will. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and we are going to say say la vie today, guys.